we are tired as South Africa. We are tired. We need Latoya and Lebu to get as far away from each other as possible. I think for them, divorce is not even enough. I need for one to move to Jupiter, the other one to move to, to Mars, or wherever, as long as it's not in the same earth. Then you say, what's in I am Sims and it's at the right Sims on Instagram. So please uh, follow your sister coming to you from our brand new studio setup. Nathanda, if you like it, I love it. I mean, I love it. Now, guys, there is something about toxic relationship that we can help but watch and the people in them in that toxic relationship can help themselves but keep themselves in them what is so hard about getting out of a toxic relationship i will tell you it's that revolving door you know when someone changes for one day and you see hope and then tomorrow they are back to their ways and then now you back to your old self and it, 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 that cycle that 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 cycle that tornado it just keeps you spinning round and round in that same space. That's why people stay in them. Now, we've been talking about this story for the longest time. And the subject matters of the story is Latoya no Lebu. Latoya and Lebu fell in love like the whirlwind. Like they were together today, 8 one quarter. Tomorrow, they were getting married, right? Fine. Latoya in her own right... She was literally born from royalty. She is Blondie's daughter. You understand? And then she was in a childhood um, singing group with her siblings. She grew up to be a singer, an artist, and then she was an amazing actress. Okay? She's popularly known for her role on Generations as Utidi. Right? Fine, Utidi. She was um, married before she was... She just seems to find herself in very unstable relationships. And she thought that in Ulebu, Ulebu, who was like her recent ex now, she thought that in Ulebu, she found Stivovo, you are my lover, you are my roll on. You know, she found her forever. Well, that didn't go according to plan. Shapu, that's all good and well. Relationships have ups and downs. But this relationship this one is that one that was sent by the toenail of Satan, okay? There were so many allegations from them being Chuck Norris, from them doing the WWE Smackdown. Label claims that Latoya is the biggest Laoya she has never met, okay? She lies. I find Latoya lies. Even when the water is blue, she'll say the water is green. When we can all see it's blue. Even if Tabombegi was an president of south africa latoya will deny it and say no it was robert mugabe who was the president of south africa they say that she just she's just she, you're pathetically lying my dear you're a pathetical liar that's what label says and she was like then it came to the money oh my goodness the money allegations were just far 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 too much right sharp latoya claims that ulebu was just so toxic and physically doing the chuck notice on her she just couldn't like ulebu is obsessed with her she's toxic she wants to know her every move emotionally and you know what ne? she was just making her vulnerable okay that's why is now vulnerable and mind you while all of this is going on in the relationship ula toya has a calling okay and it's not from telcom it's from the underground gang okay ula toya is gifted spiritually you know it's a Roslami Mocha Love situation. Shapu Latoya is doing her calling. She's doing her underground things. Now it's difficult for Latoya to do that. You know why? Because Ulebu is just not making her environment a conducive. And you know, they say that when you are spiritually gifted, you need to be in a place of peace. Okay? The underground people, they don't like being involved. They don't want to be involved in a too much to us place. So, you know, obviously, so it becomes harder to connect with them. 
in that realm because when and even you inside you, you are always, mm, you know. So that was going on. And then on top of that spiritual calling that Latoya has, she is also called to teach, to be a Kobela. You know, she has initiates. You know, when you are a graduated a underground member, I'm um, Kobela, traditional healer. And Kira, you can like now like teach the upcoming underground babies that need nurturing with their calling. So Ula Toya was also now in that space of teaching the newcomers. But now the newcomers were complaining, Hori. No, no. Here we came to learn, but it seems like we have become referees because in this house, it is always WWE Smackdown. It is always WWE Raw. We don't know who is Rey Mysterio. We don't know who is Undertaker. We are just not learning anything, you know? So one initiate called that show on Much Love. He said, Coco, come in. Hello, is this Much Love? Yeah, it's Much Love. My name is Cabello. I am a twasa there by Latoya's Ndumba. The Ndumba is not Ndumbing right now. And I know I paid deposit. I did it ka lay by. But never mind the lay by. I want, I want help. They said, okay, let's go. Vroom. They go there to Latoya's place. Kari camera. Kari camera. Eh? The show is called Fake Kobela. So this initiator, his name is Kabel, and he's like, I, Coco, you are not doing what you are supposed to do. And then Latoya is like, you have been sent, Wena. Wena, you have been sent. Who sent you? Is it, is it that toenail of Satan? You know who the toenail of Satan is? Lib, her ex. And then he, he does not deny, he does not admit, but all fingers are pointing that Lebu is the one that sent him, allegedly. So on and so forth, Sanas. So this boy's like, uh-uh, I don't want to be here. And as for me, I don't think that you have an actual calling. I don't think you are a legit, legit Gogo Skoteni. You know, you are not a legit Gogo Maweni. And Kibata lay Bayaka back. So that's why he's like, don't you dare raise your voice at me. Don't you dare come at me like that, okay? I am qualified. I have been called, okay? I have a PhD in underground gangism. So Ulatoya just thinks, Kuti, she has been set up, and this is a sabotage, another bullet from her ex, Ulebu. You remember when Lebu went on that YouTube show, that YouTube show with that amazing girl, that podcast, where she was just spilling, popping like champagne, popping everything, telling us, telling us, even the ones that we didn't ask in grade one, I was using yellow kinds. We didn't ask, but she was telling us. You know, I thought that would have been enough for her to expose Ula Toya. I guess it didn't stop there. That is one thing about women, you know. That is one thing about female relationships. The, the manipulation is just ongoing. The conniving. The, the Oh, because we are very smart people. You see, women... No one is as smart as a woman. No one is as conniving as a girl. No one is as manipulative as a girl. So imagine two girls using those forces against each other. The, it, I'm telling you, this is not the last time we hear from Ola Toya and Olebo. It's not the last time. You know they say, It goes to hell, Kesana. It goes to hell. Okay? La Toya, you know what I want for you? I want you to be TD. You see how TD was dealing with her partner only generations. I want you to bring out your inner TD because art imitates life. I want you to bring out that girl. Because right now, everyone is looking at you so. You're like, eh, when you're not now we don't remember you for the superstar that you are. We are just looking at you as like, oh, it's not looking good, my baby. No, my baby, it's not looking good. So I want you to go back to being that TD that we all know and love. That TD that kept her private life under the ground. You know, guys, you know, as a public figure person, ask me, I know, you guys know I have experience in this. When you are on some form of public space, social media, TV, acting, music, wherever, and as the female party in the relationship, 
or the famous one or the known one in the relationship, once your relationship hits the public space, you are always going to get attacked via your relationship. You know, things are going to always come out via your relationship. So your relationship usually either makes you, breaks you, or it's, it's just always going to be a talking point. So always just be cognizant of that fact. Kuti, Ish, who you get into bed with may tarnish your brand or uplift your brand. What are you Ask me, Lani. Ask me, I know, you know? So don't let the sabotagers leave the sheets. If you can see how this relationship is too much to us, it's toxic, leave it in your bedroom. Make sure it doesn't even get to the kitchen. Just keep it in your bedroom. Ne? TD, I feel like I spoke more than I should have spoke. And I'm even calling you TD and you're Latoya. Latoya, please, my sister. Not just for your sake, for the sake of everything and everyone that involves you personally. Lebu, for you, I need you to heal also. Just let go, guys. This is not an episode of Survivor. Okay? This is not an episode of Survivor. I need you guys to just let go and let the courts handle everything. If you can't talk to each other, find a middle person, find a court, find Mboro. Just find someone, something. As for me, I'm just leaving it here. Okay. Good night and good bye.